masayang mag-aral ng sensya with Sir Alvin Miranda. Good day learners! Welcome back to my class. For this video, we are going to talk about ecological relationships. For our most essential learning competency, you should be able to describe the different ecological relationships found in an ecosystem. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Ecological relationships describe the interactions between and among organisms within their environment. Interactions and relationships exist in an ecosystem in search for food, shelter, and protection. In a community, interactions within and among the population may have important influences on the death and birth of an organism and in turn on the population's growth and size. These interactions may have positive, neutral, or negative influences on the interacting populations. One of the interactions that occur in our ecosystem is symbiosis. Symbiosis is the close interaction between two or more organisms of different biological species. There are three types of symbiotic relationships. Mutualism, Commensalism, and Parasitism. Mutualism is a symbiotic relationship wherein both species benefit from each other's interaction. In mutualism, the interaction between two organisms is double positive because they both benefit from each other. A flowering plant and a bee show this type of interaction. Can you explain how they benefit from each other? Correct! Bees fly from flower to flower in search of nectar, which they transform into food to benefit them. On the other hand, whenever bees land on a flower, particles of pollen stick to their bodies. Such particles are transported to other flower, resulting in plant pollination. In this mutualistic relationship, the bees get to eat and the flowering plants get to reproduce. Next is commensalism. Commensalism is a type of symbiotic relationship that happens when one organism benefits from the interaction and the other is unaffected. Unaffected means it is neither harmed nor benefited. The interaction between organisms in commensalism is positive and neutral. Positive means benefited while neutral means unaffected. An example of commensalism is the interaction between an orchid and a tree. The orchid attach itself to a tree without harming it. The tree provides a place for orchids to live. It also benefits from getting adequate sunlight. The orchid depends on tree for mechanical support, but not for nutrients. Hence, the tree is not affected. In commensalism, there are two roles played by the species a commensal, and a host. Commensal is the smaller organism that gains benefit like nutrients, shelter, support, or locomotion from the host. Host is the larger organism which is not affected from the commensal. In the orchid and tree relationship, what is the role of the orchid and the tree? Very good! Orchid plays the commensal while the tree is the host. Next is parasitism. Parasitism is a type of symbiotic relationship that happens when one organism benefits and the other is harmed. In parasitism, 
the interaction between organisms is positive and negative, which means one organism benefits and the other is harmed. The organism that benefits in this relationship is called parasite, while the organism that is harmed is called host. Parasites might live inside the body of the host, just like the tapeworm inside an intestine of the cow. The tapeworm depends on the cow's intestine for food and nutrients. Hence, the presence of tapeworm in the cow's intestine will cause malnutrition and disease. Some parasites live outside the body of the host, like the mosquito. The mosquito is a parasite that sucks blood on the skin of the host. Parasites can bring harm to the host and can cause diseases to the host like dengue and malaria. Aside from symbiotic relationships, we also have non-symbiotic relationships. Non-symbiotic relationships are interactions of organisms that live apart from one another. Examples of non-symbiotic relationships are competition and predation. Competition is a relationship in which two or more organisms need the same thing to survive. Competition takes place when organisms compete for limited resources like food, space, shelter or territory, and mates. Competition may happen between organisms of the same species called intraspecific or between different species called interspecific competition. Sample of competition is among these plants. These individual plants are competing for light, exposure, temperature, humidity, pollinators, soil nutrients, and growing space. Next is predation. Predation is a predator-prey relationship. The predator is an organism that feeds on another organism called prey. It is an organism that kills and eats other animals. The prey is the organism that is killed and eaten by the predator. Preys are usually smaller and less powerful than the predator. Example of predation is the relationship between cat and mouse. The cat is the killer and eater which means the predator, while the mouse is the prey, which is killed and eaten. Now, can you tell what type of symbiotic or non-symbiotic relationship exists in the following examples?